we are going to see some waterfalls. going to spend one maybe two nights on this camping but here we are four nights later and we just booked for our fi fifth night we just needed some some time to chill and to relax and the funny thing is that we haven't done a lot of that <laughs> yet so we've been here four nights and we've mostly been working so today is a really nice sunny day um, compared to the last few days we were going to leave but we decided to just book another night and do the chilling that we were gonna do it has been interesting with the food because when we arrived here we were thinking one maybe two days so we weren't really prepared to have food for five nights we are almost complete through our stock one of the things I wasn't too happy about that we were out of was milk because I drink my coffee with milk um, I was just at the reception, told them that I was out of milk and wondered if they had any. And he said, no, you know, you can just have one, a cup from the kitchen. So now I have milk. The next day we set our destination to Sletnes. It was recommended to us by an experienced traveler while we were still in Sweden. So it had been on our list for quite a while. Since this was quite a drive, we would need to find a spot halfway to spend the night. Next morning we continued our journey to Sletnes. Halfway there we picked up a hitchhiker who happened to live in Schullefjord. We talked about several topics. Um, I think we have to become more innovative and we have to take back our lives. It's very difficult for most people to do what you guys have done. Yes. Even though it is really not hard to do if you just do it. Yeah. And so a lot of people um, yeah, learned German by just watching German television. Uh, I don't know if you ever watched the shows he had before. No. Do you ever... um, we, have, we have been thinking about um, buying a bigger house, a, a, be yeah, I, yeah. a better house. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, eventually we said, no, we we actually we we don't need a better house. We don't want a bigger house. We don't house. want a better house. Roads uh, that you use to film, they most often uh, they stabilize themselves, and they if you oh. if you just say okay stay here, then it will stay where it is. Oh, like a smart road. He mentioned an artist living in his town yeah. who we should really we meet. So instead of going to Sladnes, we first headed to Schillefjord. On the left side in the bay, that's where Igor is. He'll drive straight to him and see if he's warm.
I know what we show. I like cringe. <laughs> With a card. Yes, yes, yes. Credit card better. <laughs> <laughs> it can be used in uh, good and good cards. Yeah, it's uh, good, good quality. <laughs> Present for you. Ah, that's so sweet. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Wow, that's really, <laughs> yes. really nice of you. Oh, wow. <laughs> How long have you been here? No, first time I visit in uh, 2002. Okay, so yeah. long time. Yeah, it's uh, uh, after I um, live in the USA, some years. Uh, uh, after 2006, uh, I think so, it's every year. Okay. I am from uh, East Ukraine, from Kharkov, uh, what now? I am a Rus Russian artist, but uh, for many years live in uh, Ukraine. After war, to, uh, we think to go to my daughter in law yeah. for my grandchild. Yeah. It's near place. Okay, this so. Uh... Dormida? Yes, yes. I uh, show you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. Uh... Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. It's a specific. Ah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Minus. It's for food. Yeah. Though I prefer this weather over the heat wave that we've had um, I am freezing right now. <laughs> We've had the door open the whole morning uh, for Isa to come in and go out um, all that she wanted to because she was really having fun on top of the mountain. Oh, man, it's like 14 degrees in the camper right now. So we are very happy to drive a little and warm up the camper a bit.
On our way back from Shallowfjord and Sladnes, we picked up hitchhikers. They wanted to go to Ifjord, and we took them with us part of the way. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Finland. Okay. And I'm from Montreal. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, that, that's so. <laughs> <laughs> well, from here it's almost not far. <laughs> it's almost. Yeah, if you would go like this, if you could jump. <laughs> It's not always easy to find a spot for the night. But when you keep your eyes open and turn around when you see something interesting, you might find a nice and quiet spot all for yourself. This morning we wanted to go and do a little hike and to enjoy the sun. 